all right so guys welcome to my channel once again and in today's video we're just going to react on how people think about africa you understand you know this whole bad thoughts these stereotypes and everything so that video here you know that i'm going to react on and i'm just saying my friend you know still yeah, my yeah, bro, yeah, bro. it is how they think about africa yeah, it's really not their problem <laughs> so they have problem like ancient things has been there you cannot blame them it really it's ancient but yeah. seriously like okay i don't know i think the best thing is for us to just move it to the video and all that so let's just react and that's what we are here for all mm -hmm. yeah what do you eat how did you go to school how come your english and your grades are so good these are some of the strange questions i had to face when i moved here my name is lala i'm from mali i'm not a refugee i never had ebola and the only pet i had growing up was my sister's goldfish not a lion nice to meet you charlie charlie <laughs> not a lion not a lion please <laughs> Not a lion, like that one is very important. Please, you think we, we were born in the forest? <laughs> yeah. We were born in the forest. Please, even for forest, what like do you normally see forest unless you are maybe traveling far away? Please, um, okay, well, let's go. I thought of myself as a normal student until people made me feel different every time I mentioned my origins. I moved here a couple of years ago. Little did I know I would turn into a spokesperson for an entire continent. I realized that whenever I introduced myself, people didn't know where Mali was. <laughs> so I would start giving geographic details. Mali, Africa. But I contributed to their misperception that Africa is a country and not a continent with 54 countries in it. So I would say Mali, West Africa. But they thought West Africa was a country because they heard of South Africa, which is a country indeed. So finally, I would give as much details as I could. I'm from Mali, okay. a country on the western part of the continent of Africa, next to Senegal, Ivory Coast, Mauritania. <laughs> this is the SC, SC, SC. So nowadays, I just say I'm from Wakanda. Okay, finish Wakanda, bro. On a Wakanda. serious note. Oh, that's the thing. These oh, questions yeah. were becoming more and more frustrating. And I couldn't understand why I knew more about my peers than they knew about me. Sadly, too many international students can relate to my story. What I'm talking about today goes beyond my personal experience. These comments and questions and assumptions made me question why. Why were people who had never been to a place could judge it so harshly. Why, please, why? When I watched author Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie's TED Talk, I learned about the danger of single stories. My peers were only exposed to the miserable single story of the dark continent. At home, they're asked to finish that plate because an African kid would be grateful to have it. Uh, Charlie, uh, and, Charlie, why, why? And these are the things which makes Africa very fun. I mean, like, no, 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 like, like somewhere out of Africa, like a parent would just say, finish out the plate, or an African child would be very happy to have it. Yeah. Who said I'm not eating? <laughs> please, uh, well, we have a house, there's a KFC shop there, oh, please, go ahead. Like, how? I don't even think how. You know, we are just here to educate people, you know, mm. about Africa looks like these things are just I don't know how to describe them. They're not the truth, I mean for real. And yeah, they, and they do this to tarnish the image of Africa. Africa yeah, that's all Charlie. Let's At go school ahead. they learn about world history. But that just means America, Europe, and a little bit of slavery. Online, they like pictures of friends, high school friends who went on a mission trip somewhere in Africa to feed starving communities. And in the news, the only coverage they would get is crisis, war, and instability. In other words, they grow up in an environment that never depicts a full and balanced picture of my continent. Why? Surprisingly, this single story is so predominant that when you type life in Africa, on a Google search, this is what you see. <laughs> it even suggests 
tags like four. <laughs> Bro, why? And, and but the more balanced picture should include this. Uh, Charlie, look out. Life, you know what? In okay, yeah, yeah. this is Africa, somewhere in Africa, but they will not show you that. that we don't... know about issues in Flint, Michigan, with their water crisis, social issues like police brutality. Yet, that doesn't show up when you type life in America. This is what you see. Because, because they're known, known for, for patriotism, patriotism, equality, and liberty. Yeah. Additionally, in France, we know about the violent recent protest. However, when you type life in Europe, this is what you see. And here it's suggested beautiful, tag as no. beautiful. At the end of the day, Europe is a beautiful destination. My point is, a place should not be only known for its challenges. Simple. The biggest strength of the African continent is, is diversity. 54 countries in up to 2,000 languages. So when you ask us, what language do we speak? We literally have 2,000 options, and no, African is not one of them. Let's, let's make this clear. Like, bro, how many languages can you speak in Africa? I mean, we did not in Africa, like, we are in Ghana. Yeah. And in Ghana, we have about 60 plus languages. Yeah. How many of them do you speak? Two. Two. Yeah. What and what? Um, and Ghana. Okay. Cameraman, how many do you speak? <laughs> yeah, well, probably I speak about four languages. Four. I speak, okay. Me, I speak just two, right? Okay, fancy. No, no, it's like fancy, I understand, but I cannot speak. So it's not part. Asante tree. Yeah. Asante tree and what? No, no, I don't speak that. I don't speak, I don't speak, I speak, I speak only one, then English. That's all I know. There's nothing else. <laughs> um, so, how do you speak? I mean, people outside Africa think that we have a common language called Africans or whatever. I don't know. That every African must learn how to speak it. And all Africans know how to speak it. So they'll be like, when they meet, they'll be like, bro, teach me Africans. Like, teach me how to speak African. Bro. And that's not right. That's not right. Yeah. Please. Like, even Ghana, alone, the countries that we have, got, and then the whole Africa. No, no, no. Let's go, bro. Every place on the continent has so much to offer. You can have similarly great experiences around the world as you would have in Africa. A study abroad at La Sorbonne is great, but so is one at University of Cape Town. Sipping a cocktail in the Bahamas, amazing, but so is one in Senegal. Senegal. Sipping a cocktail, like I said, is great, but so is hiking Mount Kenya, visiting museum in Marrakesh, riding camels next to the pyramids. So all of those are also great experiences that are also part of our, of our identity, yet they're never fully described or showcased. To give more perspective on my normality, I like to talk about my childhood. Like many other African kids, I grew up watching shows like Hannah Montana, The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. I also had tons of game nights with my Hannah friends Montana. playing Uno, and we also argue about the rules. And I cannot deny it, I did see lions and giraffes. But at the zoo, or during a <laughs> safari, real, real. they were not taking me to school. <laughs> Eventually, I had to face this ultimate question. So if it's that great, why are you here? Fair enough. Well, unfortunately, things are not ideal, which is why students like me travel from all over the world to gain professional experience and higher education that is better quality, because unfortunately, our education system is not as good as yours, which is why we no, invest no. so much to be this one day, like, I really don't. We are I really part of a generation that want to go back and change this negative narrative of the continent. Our version of the African dream includes coming here and getting these tools that we need to make our dream a reality at home. I'm standing here today to encourage you all to stay away from these negative stereotypes. Stay away from single stories. Try to picture and build that picture yourself through education, but most importantly, through experiences. Go visit. Go visit. Introducing ourselves should not be nerve-wracking or turn into a geography slash history lesson. So let me reintroduce myself. My name is Lala, and I'm from Mali. Thank you. Some do, yeah. Some do, but... Some... I mean, it's very nice, you know, you really have to try Africa. Africa is the home for every race. 
being a human on this very world and you not visit Africa, please. You are doing yourself like you really have to drive. Please, like Africa is so safe. Like don't let anyone, you know, try and you know put any duplication in your mind that well, Africa is this, Africa is that, you know, you not see. I've been in Africa for this whole I mean entire I don't know what to say. And then go. Well, I'm safe, like I'm not hearing any guns going out there. Sorry. Wait. So how is your life in Africa? Is anyone worrying you? Is anyone telling you not to go to school? I don't know, it's a not even your country Ghana, like Africa as a whole. So great, bro. Like this video is just for you to get in Africa. Me, I'm just my goal is to just let you think once like Africa is good. Yeah, I'm moving in. That's all. And we have numerous of people as Native Americans who are currently staying in here and not willing to go back. Yeah. That's so great. And some of them are even working, learning working. working and learning our language as well. You hear them and, and it's so and amazing. They're also married too. Yeah, yeah, that's so. yeah. Charlie, that's nice. Bro, thanks for coming in, you know, in the video. I hope that you, you join me all the time, bro. Yeah, yeah. I love this. And please subscribe to the channel as always. Do you have something to say? Bro, I see that, Charlie. I'm gonna drop the link, bro. You really need to follow me. At least you can just text me and say, bro, thanks very much, you know, for the reaction. I loved it. Yeah, thanks. Bye for now.